Hi guys, how are you today? So guys, as I read the Holy Bible, I realize that sometimes Jesus referred to himself in the first person and sometimes in the third person. So I began to wonder why? After some research, I came up with this explanation that I am about to tell you. I hope this video brings more light to your thoughts. Enjoy! The Son of Man. There are some ways to refer to Jesus. Uh, the Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man, the Messiah, the Lamb of God, the Son of David. We might think he, on one hand, Son of God implies his divinity. On the other hand, of man implies his humanity. Jesus is both human and divine. Jesus would refer to himself sometimes in the first person, like in I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the bread of life, I am the good shepherd. But also he would refer to himself often in the third person, as the son of man. We can find this term 80 times in the Gospels. 30 times only in Matthew Gospel. This is the most common way Jesus used to speak about himself. We might wonder, why son of man, why not son of God? By the way, what does the son of man mean? We can find the term son of man in the Old Testament as a reference to the Adam's descendants. In the book of Ezekiel, we can find the term more often. Ezekiel was called son of man 93 times by God. When Jesus says in Matthew chapter 13, verse 41, the son of man will send forth his angels and yada yada yada, or in the Matthew chapter 17, verses uh, from 22 to 23, the Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. Why didn't Jesus just say, I will send forth my angels, or I am going to be delivered into the hands of men? He wanted to keep his identity as the Messiah, a mystery that it could only be understood by direct revelation from the Father. When Jesus talked about himself as the Son of Man, he wasn't to refer to his human nature, but to his divining nature. He was referring to the prophetic passage we can find in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verses from 13 to 14. Daniel had this dream in which he saw four beasts representing kingdoms and governments, and then he saw the throne of God with a human figure sitting on it. It goes like this. There before me was one like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. If you take it from Mark chapter 14 verses 61 and 62, we can notice a revelation of the identity of this human figure. When the high priest Caiaphas asked to Jesus, Are you the Christ, the son of the living God? Then Jesus answered, I am, and you will see the son of man sitting at the right hand of God come with his glory. He was saying he was that to one from the book of Daniel, whom Daniel was talking about. So Caiaphas tore his clothes because in the Jewish context, uh, someone considering himself a son of God was a blasphemy. Uh, in the book of Daniel uh, says, his dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away and his kingdom will never be destroyed. A serious statement, wasn't it? In Caiaphas' question, we can notice an interesting point. There is three terms referring to Jesus. The Christ, which means the Anointed One, the Son of the Living God, and also the Son of Man. Uh, there is another passage we can find the same three terms in a different order, though. In Matthew chapter 16, verses from 13 to 15, when Jesus asked his disciples who the people say the Son of Man is, he was using the term Son of Man. Then he continues, How about you? Who do you say that I am? On this time he was referring to himself and the first person, I am, not the Son of Man, but I am, because he wanted to know from their mouths what was the true reason why the Messiah had come. So Peter answered, You are the Christ, another title, uh, the Son of the Living God. So Jesus replied to Peter, That was the Father who had revealed this to him. 
Jesus was speaking that it, it, it was not Peter, but God who was using Peter as a channel uh, to speak about the nature, the divine nature of Jesus. Did you notice that this question is a backwards Caiaphas question to Jesus? First questioning Jesus, Caiaphas asked, Are you the Christ, the Son of the living God? And Jesus answered, I am. And you will see the Son of Man, blah, 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 blah. And when Jesus asks to his disciples who the people say the Son of Man is, the Son of Man is a title, then Peter answers, You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Two more titles. It's interesting because it's a kind of backwards type of question to Jesus from the book of Mark. And Jesus would refer to himself as the Son of Man in three ways we can find it. When Jesus said the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life and ransom of men, he was speaking about him as being both minister and savior, two ways. The third way, he would refer to himself as a judge. We can see that in the book of Daniel. He came to judge the living and the dead, separating goats and sheep. In conclusion, Jesus calling himself the Son of Man he states clearly that he is truly God as well as human being. I hope that you enjoy this video and this video may be fruitful inside your hearts. God bless you all. Praise be Jesus Christ. Have a fantastic day. Have a blessed day. See you guys. Bye bye.